30 whole months? I've known you for that long?
Good evening, good evening, good evening, good evening, good evening, good evening, and welcome to the Thursday night early edition of Game Night, where it is time for heats number three and four of the arena. Oops! Almost. Oops is something I said to earlier on when I installed Windows 11 on the machine last night, which is exactly what you want to do three days before a big charity stream. <laughs> There's, ups, ups. It is what you say when you say to a cat, ups, 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 like that. Not a cat here at the moment, there's a noisy dog. I think he's probably been incarcerated because they're uh, dishing up dinner at the moment. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> there it is. So yeah, I installed Windows 11 and it reset all of my sound devices, all of the voice meter, all of the Discord. And of course, I've had to set up a new profile. Uh, well, go back to an old profile from the charity stream, which has got a slightly different um, layout, stream layout, uh, ready for Saturday. So I've had to do it sort of twice over. So if something isn't working, um, I'm guessing that since no one has said, Ben, your mic's not working, but the mic is working, which is good. Anyway, good evening. Welcome. Lovely to have you here. Good evening to Oni and Adster. Japes, Aaron, Zeus, Mark, Apodo, Topper, Innes. Good evening, BC. And congratulations on winning Wordle. And sorry for missing you. I thought it was Zeus. Zeus had 15, but I missed BC. But very well played on winning our Wordle game there. Good evening, Cyclespace, Jack, Setra, Johnny Chum. Hello to Lupine and Claire, Kodo and Joe. Bash, Amy, DMC, Dogfish, David, Anonyman. It's Sportsy Score Count, Lewis. Hello to Quizzle and Quizface, Player 2 and it's Sotley and Toot and Proves and Puzzle Dan and Halo and anyone else who is lurking in the chat. It is lovely to have you here. I hope you're keeping well. Well, I held off on it for a while here, but that's just because my computer just didn't want to update it. So we'll tell you when it's time. We'll, we'll let you know when it's time for you to have it. And apparently it was not yet. And it actually, it updated on my laptop. It was, it was within about three days of it coming out on my, um, on my travel laptop. And that seemed to go fine. I actually, I actually don't hate it. Um, so had it been a, a nightmare on my laptop, I probably would have delayed on the PC a bit longer. But um, yeah, it all, other than the, the general, when you update Windows, it resets all your sound devices. And there's a couple of um, idiosyncrasies that I need to get used to, like with changing the, uh, the default sound device. But other than that, actually, I don't hate it. I think it looks a lot smarter. They made a mistake putting a number on the end of it. Well, I don't know why they didn't just call it. They said Windows 10 was going to be the last edition of Windows. Why didn't they just call Windows 11 Windows? And then just have a permanent series of updates because calling it 11 now they're going to have to have a 12 which is you know seems a bit daft battles vibe is not proved by bill gates that's a shame jack sorry to hear that your time will come i'm sure windows 10 2. <laughs> so everyone's talking about yeah the elder scrolls 6 when is that coming out i just want to play skyrim 2 the elder scrolls 5 2. Mm. anyway first game of the arena um, tournament players have attempted to join the lobby remember if you are in the tournament or in the main bracket of 16 you won't be able to join the lobby kingdom windows heart 8.6 uh, you won't be able to join the lobby likewise if you are in this um, four way of players this evening in this heat then you also won't be able to join the lobby the lobby is exclusively for players who did not qualify for the top 16 for that second chance saloon um, and I'm hoping everything's going to be working. Uh, there's no reason it shouldn't be. Although Player Press did do something strange with Spotlight the other day, so I'm slightly worried that, and it's not related to Windows 11 because it did it before I updated it. I'm slightly worried it's going to have cleared out all the Player Press, which would be a problem. Um, I guess we'll find out when we go to the leaderboard a bit later on. Um, but if that is the case, then that's just something else for me to manually add on after the fact. Um, I will obviously everything is stored in VOD, so I can go back and manually do that afterwards. Anyway, uh, a double pack 
Um, they can't bother me to update it. Oh, Bash, thank you very much for the 30-month subscription. And yeah, I think you've known me a little longer than 30 months for your sins. Uh, thank you for sticking with me all this time. Very much appreciated. And Effrontery, welcome to the stream. Great to have you with us. So, two packs tonight from Zeus um, for our two... Um, Heat, heat number three and heat number four. This will complete the first cycle. There are a total of uh, five cycles. Five cycles for a total of 20 heats, but this will be the first of uh, the first cycle. And once this game is concluded, all players in the bracket will have played at least one, well, exactly one game. So that's when the, the drama of the tournament is going to start, when we can see the points going up and how they affect it. We had a couple of um, couple of upsets last week, maybe some uh, some surprising uh, surprising victories, or maybe people maybe favourites didn't not doing quite so well as, as maybe they've been anticipated to do. So um, we'll see if we're going to have more of the same this evening. And thank you very much to Zeus for this question pack, and um, that's something I need to add on to my to do list of things. Um, which I will do in a minute, which is add on author credits and pennies for this game because it doesn't do it, unless it does it automatically from the game. I should probably make it do that. That's something I should be able to do. I'll write that down. Anyway, looks like we've got 13 players in our lobby game and four players waiting in the wings to go into the arena. I think we should begin because Bash has got a stream in about 40 minutes that we need to go and raid into. <coughs> Let's begin. And as we pan around the arena, our four players are waiting nervously below the stage, waiting to arise. There's the dry ice, all of them going to emerge coughing and spluttering. Heat number three is between Oni, Anoniman, Shapes, and Colo. To all four of you, welcome to the arena. And I will preface the start of this heat by saying Colo messaged me earlier on. He may have to go AFK for an, an IRL thing for about two minutes. It's an IRL thing that couldn't be helped out of his hand. So I said, if that does happen, he will shout at me and I will temporarily pause the game, which I can do from this end. Hopefully it won't break anything. Um, there's no reason it should, but uh, hopefully uh, that, that won't happen. We can, we can avoid that. But Kodo, do give me a shout in a highlighted message if you do need to go AFK. Yeah, stop the count temporary. It would be an emergency stop, which actually I don't have as a built-in button for this game. I should probably put one in uh, rather than going for the pause button. But um, anyway, <clears throat> Anonyman, Oni, Shapes and Colo facing a pack by Zeus. Oh, hello. How exciting. So exciting, I'm getting hiccups. Ben Vamp is <laughs> natural state. That's true, Quid's face. Let's take a look at the rules. And these rules only apply to our four players in the hot seat. Round one is 10 and 10. You will face 10 multiple choice questions, 10 seconds to respond to each. A to D or 1 to 4 to the bot. Correct answers will earn you a point. Incorrect answers will cost you a point. Abstention costs nothing, but you are grounded at zero. So if your score is zero, i.e. on the first question, you might as well attempt it. You cannot go lower than zero. If only one player gives the correct answer, a bonus point is awarded, and this was the source of one of last week's high drama moments, where the one player went for an abstention and another player went for it, was the only one to get it right, got the bonus, and it ended up overtaking them and knocking them out on question 10 of 10 and 10. So uh, bear that in mind, if you're the only player to get it right, you do get a bonus point, which theoretically means there are 20 points up for grabs in this round. At the end of the round, the player with the lowest score will be eliminated, and in the event the scores are tied, the player who spent longest answering in total this round will be eliminated. Those are the rules. If you're playing along in the lobby, it's much simpler. Get it right, get a point. Get it wrong or abstain, don't get a point. Very, very simple. So you might as well attempt every question if you're playing in the wings. Good luck. Round one is 10 and 10. Let's play. Good luck everybody, here we go, whispering to the bot and keep your eyes on the chat because when the question's in the chat, the question is live. Here comes question number one, I'll do a countdown because there's still no formal countdown for this, here we go. What is the scientific name for your shoulder blade? 
Is it the sternum, the mandible, the clavicle, or the scapula? Answers from everybody. All players in the arena getting it right is D, the scapula. Very well played. Quite a few in the lobby getting this as well. We'll reorder the board. We'll go on to question number two. Steve, the shoulder. That works too. <laughs> question two. What type of bean is typically used to make baked beans? Kidney, haricot, broad or pinto? Again, I see a green in the arena. It's the haricot bean. Yes, indeed. Haricot. Two, 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 two. After two questions. Five players with two out of two in the audience. So well, question three. In computing, which of these file types is not used for images? WAV, JPEG, TIFF, or BMP? Wave, JPEG, TIFF, or Bitmap? If I'm locking in. And 100% correct on that one. It's a WAV file. WAV is an audio file. All of the rest are images. Mighty done. Three for three. Could it come down to speed? It might do it at this rate. Let's go on. Question four. Which of these songs best describes what a lazy Susan does? Side to side, drag me down, lift me up, you spin me round. Hundred percent again in the arena. D, you spin me round was the right answer. Um, I don't think I've ever used a tiff. It's not me. Occasionally, I get jiffs. Um, oh, actually, oh, for document scans. Okay. Question five: Which of these people does not star in the 2017 Jumanji remake? Jack Black, Emma Roberts, Karen Gillan, Nick Jonas. Some abstentions here. True Anonyman is wrong. Losing a point. Shapes was right. It was B. Emma Roberts. Shapes being the only one to get it right. Getting six or getting two double um, double points. So taking up six only. And Kodo abstaining. Sticking on four. Yes. Abstention is a valid play. Who won the 2021 BBC Sports Personality of the Year award? Is question six. Raheem Sterling, Emma Raducanu, Adam Peaty, Tom Daly. Yes, yeah, don't forget that abstention is a valid play if you don't know. Because wrong will cost you a point. Uh, all three players who attempted getting it right. Shapes moving up to seven. Colo and Oni on five. And Nonaman on three. Let's move on. Emma Raducanu was the answer, by the way. 2006, Anton Deck hosted which million pound offering game show that shares its name with a Lady Gaga hit? Is it The Edge of Glory, Just Dance, Applause, or Poker Face? All four answering. All four correct. It was Poker Face. Very well played. Shapes up to eight now. Only Encoder still on six. True and on a man. Two points behind on four. With three questions to go. Could still make could still be changed. Let's have a look at question eight. What would a campanologist be interested in? Bells, beards, beer mats, or badges. The arpeggio of answers there. Eh? All four getting it right. It was a bells. Bells was the correct answer. With two questions to go. Shape's not necessarily guaranteeing safety here yet. Could still have a bit of a turnaround. Question nine. What is the name of the computer in 2001 A Space Odyssey? Deep Thought, ED209, GLaDOS, or HAL9000? I'm sorry, Dave. I can't let you do that. D, HAL9000 was the right answer. 100% getting it right. One more question to go. We've still got four players on nine out of nine in the arena. Uh, in the lobby, sorry. And shapes on a maximum streak as well in the arena. Which artist's unmade bed sold for over £2.5 million? Was it Andy Warhol, Tracy Emin, David Hockney, or Jackson Pollock? All four locked in in the arena. All four correct, which means Shapes finishes in lead with 11. Oni and Koda both have nine, but Anonyman finishing on seven. I'm afraid you've been eliminated. The answer was B, Tracy Enning. 
And look at that, it would have come down to time, but it only came down to just one question. Perfect round for shapes, including one unique correct answer. It means he finishes on 11. Oni and Colo both abstaining on one question, finishing on nine. And unfortunately, Anoniman getting one question wrong, which means they lost a point and uh, presumably abstaining on another, I think, if that would make sense. Otherwise, you've got, yes, abstaining on one and getting one wrong. Because otherwise, yes, otherwise you'd have finished on eight. But that is the way this game goes. Very well played to Shapes, Kodo and Oni, who are through to round two. Um, over in the lobby, it's Oli, Jung Chum, Toot, finishing with a maximum score of 10 in that round. Very nicely played. Uh, well, let's see if we can change anything with the scores as we go into round number two. You are now the survivors. You'll face up to 15 multiple choice questions, 10 seconds to respond to each, A to D, or one to four to the bot as before. Each incorrect player loses a life. So in this one, if you abstain or give me a wrong answer, you lose a life straight away. In the event all players are correct, no lives are lost unless sudden death mode is active. Sudden death mode becomes active from question nine onwards. And in the event all players are correct there, the slowest player will lose a life as before that won't apply if somebody gets it wrong. First player to exhaust three lives will be eliminated. And in the event more than one player exhaust their lives simultaneously, the player who spent the longest answering in total this round will be eliminated. That is how this one works. So if you are in the arena, you might as well answer every question. Even if you don't know, abstention will be treated as wrong, likewise in the lobby. Could be as few as three questions or as many as 15. After 15, with sudden death mode coming in at question nine, we are guaranteed um, to uh, have, the, have the round over, but would it be cut short before that? Let's see, let's play. Usual manual countdown coming into the chat now. Good luck to you all. Question one then. In South Park, what is Cartman's first name? William, Eric, Leopold, Clyde. Hundred percent there. B. Eric was the right answer. No drama so far. Let's go on to question two. Really must move those lives. Question two. Which of these African countries is landlocked? Senegal, Ghana, Benin, Burkina Faso. Colo in first. Only in shapes, last minute answers. Only finding the right one. Shapes did not and loses a life. Colo also correcting answers. D, Burkina Faso. Jongi Chan taking the lead in the lobby now with 12. First time we've had a clear leader, I believe. Shapes down to two. Next question. Matt Bellamy is the lead singer of which band? Coldplay, Muse, Radiohead, Arctic Monkeys. Fast lock-ins from our arena players there. All three correct. Yes, it is Muse. And so on. Samson, welcome to the stream. Good to have you with us. Hope you're keeping well. That was Newborn, that song. Next question, question four. Which of these UK patron saints days happens earliest in the year? St George's Day, St Andrew's Day, St David's Day, St Patrick's Day. Shapes first in, by Colo. And only not getting an answer and losing a life. Shapes also wrong, so down to his last life, last life the answer is C, St David's Day, I believe it's the 1st of March. Colo getting a right answer, persisting with three lives. Toot and Jong and Chum now tied with 13. Oh, just missed the time, bad luck only. When did the Cuban Missile Crisis take place? 18 years before 2000, 28 years before 2000, 38 years before 2000, 48 years before 2000. Shapes needs to get this right to survive, and he has. 38 years before 2000, 1968. If my maths is anything to go by. No, 62, sorry. If my maths is nothing to go by. 1962. Excuse me, Miss Yeah, maths, I know too. Still got the lead, 14. Shapes still on his last life. Question six. Which of these baseball legends is mentioned in Madonna's Vogue? Lou Gehrig, Joe DiMaggio, Derek Jetta, Babe Ruth. All three players locking in. Of course we get the steam because it is potentially the last question. 
all three in the arena getting it right. Joe DiMaggio was the right answer. All lives are preserved. Colo still with the advantage. Shapes still on his last life. Question seven. What was the title of the first Wallace and Gromit feature? A matter of loaf and death, the wrong trousers, a grand day out, a close shave. It was C, a grand day out, the one where they go to the moon. Colo, you're getting the first one wrong of the round. Losing a life is now down to two. Two with the lead in the lobby. Two, two and one as we go to question number eight. Which of these is described by the medical term cutis and serena? Teeth gap, goosebumps, dry skin, monobrow. Polo's in, Shapes is in, Oni's in. Shapes is wrong, thus losing a life. We don't get to sudden death mode. Shapes, you're out of lives. The answer was B, goosebumps. And that's the end of round two. Well, it's a bit late to activate Sudden Death Mode now. I guess I don't need to activate that if it's the end of the round. <laughs> uh, Shapes, unfortunately, taking the trip back down south under the stage. And Oni and Colo progress to the final. Where Actually, Colo, if you have to go away for two minutes here, it's actually not the end of the world because you actually have control of the game at this point. You can choose to play or pass so when you've got control. Um, Typically, interruption is imminent probably in one minute. Okay, well, I say at this point, it's um, less of an issue because you are going to start in control because you have the most lives going into round three. So we can just, we don't even need to pause the game. We'll just sit and look at the screen for a while. Uh, two currently in the lead with 17 in the audience game. Jogging Chum's got 16. It's Sotley in third with 15. Remember, all these points are accumulated over the heats and uh, the four players with the highest scores at the end of all the heats will be our four playoff players. So, Colo with two lives, only with one. Colo is going to have advantage. Let's take a look at the rules for round number three. It's play or pass. You will face up to nine multiple choice questions. Ten seconds to respond to each. A to D or one to four to the bot. The controlling player is shown a category and chooses whether to play or pass the question. Controlling player alternates with each question, starting with the leading player. That's Colo. Correct answers earn a point. Incorrect answers earn your opponent a point. First player to reach five points is declared the winner. Simple as that. Could be over as quickly as five or up to a maximum of nine. It's play or pass. Cola's going to start in control. Same rules apply in the lobby. Get it right, get a point, get it wrong, and you don't. Let's play. So, Colo, you have got control. You'll see a category, and based on that, you need to choose whether to play or pass. You have got control at this point, so if uh, you do need to go to the door, then we can hang fire for a... Oh, he's just done the BRB. There we go. So Cola's got to do BRB, uh, which is nice. So it's as good, good a time as any for that to happen. That's worked out quite nicely. So um, I'll vamp for a minute. Someone let me know when Kolo is back. Yes, it is hot music. Thank you for tuning into game night. Your quiz is important to us. Anyone know this piece? <laughs> That's a good idea, Sam, so I think we should do that. Very good, um, Innes. Uh, who's it by? And who's the arrangement by? Jesu bleibe meine Freude. Yes, I have, I've actually conducted it in German once. Yes, Bach. J.S. Bach. Anyone know the arranger? Not the Jonas Brothers. Oh, you're back, Colo. Then we'll stop that there. It's uh, Myra Hess. Myra Hess's arrangement of Jesus Joy of Man's Desiring. Last period. No, not by me. I have done a Bach arrangement. I arranged a... I arranged the first movement of the cello suite number one for um, for piano, but it's 
just it's sort of like an etude it's designed just for left hand um when I, whenever i do it in concert um <laughs> yeah, thank you bc whenever i do it in concert i always use two hands i did it at this gig the other night um it's just so much easier with two hands but it is it was designed to to be played with one but yeah nice piece anyway kono you've got control and uh, glad you're back with us and we've managed to get that sorted first category is british politics play or pass Kolo choosing to play this one. So only sitting on his hands here. Here's your question. Which of these British Prime Ministers served all their terms consecutively? Margaret Thatcher, Harold Wins Wilson, Stanley Baldwin, Winston Churchill. Kolo going for the correct answer. Yes, it was Margaret Thatcher from 1979 to 1992, I think. Um, all of the others were interrupted by somebody. Hey, AB, me, welcome to the street. Good to have you with us. Only with you, the category is football play or pass. Bear in mind, this is uh, written by Zeus, so that is probably the English definition of football, only choosing to play. Which of these is not the name of a real professional footballer? Martin Pringle, Roger Ham, Tony Curry, Yaya Banana. You're getting an answer in the nick of time. Um, only going for D. Yar Yar Banana, which is the name of a real player. Roger Ham is what we're after. That's two points to Colo. Colo, you are in control, and the category is video games. And again, Colo choosing to play. Let's take a look. Which of the ghosts in Pac Man is orange? Blinky Pinky, Clyde or Inky? Kolo not wasting any time there. And getting C, Clyde, that is the right answer. You're 3 0 up, Kolo. Storming through. Control passes back to Oni. And Oni, it's with you. Clyde of Legend, nice. Category Oni is food and drink, play or pass. And Oni choosing to play this one. Here's the question. Which of these cocktails uses whiskey as its base alcohol? Margarita, Mimosa, Mojito, Manhattan. Only getting the right answer, D, it's a Manhattan. I think the other ones are, uh, Mimosa is Prosecco, I think. Uh, mojito, is Mojito gin? Or is it rum? I think it's gin. In a mint. Anyway, Kolo back with you. The category is science. Play or pass? And another play. Let's take a look. Cliddy. Which of these chemical elements is not part of the alkali metals group? Sodium, gallium, lithium, potassium. I haven't looked at the debug. I think it's B, and I'll be right. And so is Kolo. Gallium is the right answer, and Colo 4-1 up. Pressure on Oni here as we go over back to him. And Oni the category is... Film, play or pass. Oni choosing to pass might be a strategic pass here. Whether he doesn't know, think he's good at film or he thinks Colo's worse at film. Which of these was not directed by Catherine Bigelow? Apologies for the lack of question mark. Zero Dark Thirty, Near Dark, Strange Days, Undertow. Colo locking in. And he's locked in D, which is the right answer. Undertow, which means after six questions, it's 5-1 and only you have been eliminated. Good game from all four players there. Very high scoring game has to be said out of the questions we've seen. And uh, Colo is the one who takes the victory in this heat. Very well played, despite having to go collect shopping. Um, games those weren't easy, well played, absolutely. And uh, Colo joining the ranks of Aaron.
Aaron has players who have managed to get four points out of their first heat. Toot picking up 22 points from the lobby, though. I think Toot is just playing along in the um, on the audience game just for, for fun. Uh, has uh, sort of formally withdrawn from the tournament part of it, but just wanting to, to play along. So uh, Toot wouldn't be a, 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 a playoff player anyway. It's Otley with 20, Jong Chum with 18. Uh, let's add those uh, uh, audience scores to the database and see where we stand now. Hopefully it has all saved. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Yeah, there's, there's definitely the, those are definitely the scores. Uh, Evil Twin is joining the playoffs. <laughs> nice. Uh, Jack with the lead in the audience game at the moment with 39. He doesn't win the games he's not in. It's only currently second with 37. BC, Jong In Chum, and Toot all with 35, though, um, as we just had the declaration there from Toot, uh, not anticipating being in the finals. So our playoff players as it currently stands, and I really need to update these meshes. Can someone note that down? Update the meshes, uh, the mesh colours, because they should not all be green. Um, let me um, go to the camera. So I'll show you what it's supposed to. Show you what it's supposed to look like. Uh, Leave it strap. Um, I'll put it okay. I'll, I'll do it after that. I'm not going to do it now because I'll break something. Um, but they're, um, yeah, it's just the, the top four that are supposed to be green on this one. So those are the scores that they stand in the audience game. Of course, this could get bigger. There could be more players and maybe that not everyone is able to attend every heat. Um, so we could still have some wild drama in these scores as the heats go on. Let's take a look at our tournament board at the moment. Colo with the lead four points, having uh, won, but with the most questions correct in the first round, nine there. Mark four and five in the first round. Aaron four and three in the first round. Only Ennis Riffle with two points. Shapes, Samster, Proves all with one. We have got one more heat to play, and we're going to do it immediately after this break, and it is going to be between Claire, Dogfish, Quizface, and Topper. I do hope that you will join me for that. Coming right up after this very short break. Stay there. We'll be right back. And congratulations, Colo. You've won the arena. <laughs> More action from the arena coming right up after this break. Um, I'm aware that Zeus's name was not correct alphabetically on the credits. That's because I only just remembered as I pressed roll credits button very quickly fixed it there. So I'm going to fix that properly now. I'll also fix that issue with the uh, leaderboard scores and getting the colours right. Um, so give me a couple of minutes to do that and then we will be back with heat number four. Stay right there. We'll be right back.
Welcome back to heat number four of the arena. It's going to load in the data. The more players take part in the uh, in the lobby over the course of the heat, the more data there is to load and the longer it takes. And there we go. Have a have at it. Uh, GIs and Zers, welcome to the stream, both of you. Great to have you with us. Uh, just seen Bash put out an announcement. He's going to be doing a warm-up game sometime in the next 15 or so minutes. We're going to be raiding into him because he has got outright tonight. Uh, I read that Breakaway has got a couple of uh, critical bugs that um, still uh, require ironing out. So Breakaway is going to be uh, postponed a little further. But outright is always good fun, even if it is a Thursday and not a Friday. Look forward to that. We'll go and raid over into Bash. Uh, I'll be going straight to have dinner after this. Um, but I will then be sort of lurking on Bash's stream while I finish getting stuff ready for uh, who, who am I kidding finish stuff and certainly not going to be finishing stuff tonight but um, get closer to finishing stuff ready for Saturday's big charity stream starting at 11 a.m. GMT I'm going to be going all day whole slew of different games to play um, and it's all for charity raise money for fetch a dog Hans Lander and M Dog welcome to the stream great to have you with us and uh, going to message Colo back who's just messaged me Right, um, someone joined and then left. A couple, of, couple more seconds to come join this lobby if you want to try and get some points. Do you want some more pennies? Have some more pennies. And uh, <coughs> I suit not for sat No. <laughs> no, it's only. I'm going to be sat in this chair for 14 hours. I'm going to be comfortable. I might not even wear jeans. I might just wear trackies. Um, so, uh, yeah, definitely, definitely won't be any suiting up going on this Saturday. Um, grab those pennies now. Ten pennies available. Wear a tie. I wear them around my head. If it's good. Honestly, it's so hot in this office. Um, but yes, I'm hugely grateful to all the question writers who've contributed contributed to that day. Um, I think I had the last pack in, apart from one of mine, actually. Um, I did write, um, my mind's gone blank this afternoon. I need to write Plinko the quiz. I need to fix Plinko the quiz. David gave me a load of great suggestions for it that I just haven't implemented. <laughs> Disclosure at this point, or disclaimer, or caveat, or catch-all, it might end up being gold, silver, or bronze rather than plinko. Uh, just if if I run out of time, um, then I don't want to stress over a game that's going to be 15 minutes. I'll just run a game that works instead because um, they're the same format. Uh, new outfit for every show. <laughs> I can see how many t-shirts I could get through, and then I'll just do a load of laundry on Sunday, baby. <laughs> could be fun. Um, I probably will change my shirt at least once because, um, like I said, it does get does get warm in here, and I get very self-conscious if I have sweat patches like I have tonight, despite putting this shirt on what half an hour before we started streaming. That's the way it goes. Right, let's stop that bonus right there, and let's get into the arena and heat number four. Yeah, sweaty Ben. Honestly, it's just the heat of this room and the fact that I wear t-shirts that they show up. So yeah, if I go like that, you can see it. So I'll just keep the arms down so I get self-conscious because, you know, memories of school. So I'll just keep this arm down. See, this one's fine. Left arm's fine. Players scared in the wings. All four of them, the smoke is rising. Welcome to our audience if you're playing along in the audience game. And welcome to our four competitors in heat number four. Here they come, rising from the depths. Dogfish, Quizface, Claire, and Topper. Welcome to the arena. Welcome to you for Zeus's second pack this evening. Thank you very much to Zeus. Double bill of packs from Zeus uh, tonight. I need to write something down. Oh, someone may have written a suggestion, so I'll hopefully remember later on. I think I've... Oh, I remember what I didn't do. I didn't update the credits, did I? Um, or did I? Did I update the credits? Oh, I did. Ha! I put Zeus's name in the credits properly now. Um, and also, I should have updated the uh, colours of those... Uh, leaderboard straps as well when we get to the audience leaderboard so that should be done I still need to do author pennies I want to automate that because um, otherwise I've got to add a whole thing onto the the app which to be fair could does, does need an update anyway round number one here are the rules 
It's 10 and 10. You'll face 10 multiple choice questions, 10 seconds to respond to each, A to D or 1 to 4 to the bot. Keep your eye on the chat as ever. Correct answers earn a point. Incorrect answers will cost a point. Abstention costs nothing. So abstention is a valid tactic if you don't know the answer. You can't go less than zero. It does ground you at zero. So if you've got no points, you might as well attempt it. If only one player gives the correct answer, you do get a bonus point. As we saw in the last game, Shape's getting 10 out of 10, but one of them was the, he was the only one to get it right. Thus, he finished with 11. And remember, this round forms the tiebreaker metric for the finals as and when we get there. So you want to get as many points as you can. At the end of the round, the player with the lowest score will be eliminated, and in the event the scores are tied, the player who spent the longest answering in total will be eliminated instead. So it does come down to time. 130% is an admin error. Nice. Um, if you're playing in the lobby, you can attempt every question without penalty, even if you're wrong. One point for every correct answer you give. Those are the rules. It's 10 in 10. Let's play the arena. Good luck to you all. Manual countdown coming in chat. Here we go. Question one then. Rhinitis affects which part of the face? The ears, the eyes, the nose, or the mouth? What a lovely sound. Binary, welcome to the stream. Great to have you here. I'm just going to call you Binary, if that's okay. Good to have you with us. All four in the arena getting it right. It was the nose. Well played. All off the mark, so from this point on, if you get one wrong, you're going to lose a point. Remember, if you're the only one to get it right, you do get two points, so a little bit of strategy here. Which of these condiments would you not add to a Bloody Mary cocktail? Pepper, Worcestershire sauce, Tabasco, ketchup. It's ketchup. Claire, the only one to get it right. So it goes up to three. Everyone else drops back down to zero. Yes, you would not put ketchup in a Bloody Mary. Well, I mean, you might do, but you'd be wrong. Not my finest out choosing this day. Fair enough, Binary. <laughs> Welcome to the stream, all the same. In a sport, question three, originating in Sankiyavi, Finland. What do people have on their backs while racing? Cheese wheels, sharks, women or cars? Wow. Almost simultaneous lock-in for three of you there. And all four of you, in fact, everyone, including the audience game, getting it right. The answer was C, women, 4111, the scores. Question four, then. In the film Inside Out, which of these characters is predominantly green? Disgust, fear, anger, sadness. All four players attempting. Quiz face getting it wrong though, dropping back down to zero. Dollfish and Topper move up to two, Claire moves up to five. The answer was A, disgust. I think anger was red predominantly. And sadness was purple. Question five, which of these states does not have a capital city beginning with L? Virginia, Michigan, Nebraska, or Arkansas? Oh, Dogfish with a clutch answer and the only one to get it right. Quizface getting it wrong. The Dogfish moves up to four. The answer was A, Virginia. Virginia's capital does not begin with L. L. Don't know why I went really gravelly then. Question six. In the sitcom Friends, which character shared a surname with an online search engine? Ross, Phoebe, Rachel or Chandler? All four locking in. All four correct. D. Chandler. Chandler Bing was the answer. Chandler Bing. Nobody uses Bing. Sadness was blue, fear was purple. Thank you, Cetra. It's been a while since I saw that film. Good film, though. Question seven. Which of these Pokemon is not classed as a fire type? Charmander, Arcanine or Arcanine, Gyarados, Moltres. All four locking in. For correct, yes. Gyarados is a dragon flying water type, or possibly just dragon and flying in the game. It's definitely a water, lives in water. Evolves from a Magikarp. 7642 are the scores with three questions to go. What animal is Cynophobia the fear of? Dogs, cats, hamsters, or rabbits? Water slash murder, yeah, quite. I'm pretty sure it is an honor man. In the games, it's classified as a flying type. 
Uh, dogfish and Claire getting this one right. The answer is A. Dogs. Appropriate for dogfish, I suppose, to get that one right. Um, did Quizface and Topper abstain, or did they get it wrong? I wasn't paying attention, that's my bad. Dogs was the answer. How many inches are there in two yards is question number nine. Not me, you've got a dog in your name, Dogfish, so I'd expect you to get that one right. How many inches are there in two yards? 48, 24, 72, or 108? Chris Face and Topper sitting that one out, presuming their scores. The answer is C72. Claire getting that one wrong, losing a point. Dogfish, the only one to get it right, moves up to nine with one question to go. Good luck. Which religion is the most widely practiced in the world? Hinduism, Islam, Christianity, Judaism. It is still possible for Quizface to make it out here if they're the only one to get it right. Uh, but Topper is abstaining, so we won't lose any points. Quizface and Claire both getting it right, the other two abstaining. The answer was C, Christianity. But Quizface is only two points, so I'm afraid you're out of the game. Well, a lot of back and forth in that round, a lot of up and down, all started out pretty steady, but soon enough the scores started to dissipate. Claire with the early lead, eventually coming second, a point behind Dogfish, who finishes on nine and in with the most points going into the tiebreaker. Um, not quite 100% yeah, I had to do the strat play. Don't blame you, Topper, but of course, the more questions you get right, the more points you can potentially get for later on in the tournament for a tiebreaker. But for now, you are all through to round two and guaranteed at least one point. Claire, eight, Dogfish, nine, Topper with four over in the audience game. As from Jack, finishing at the top with nine. Quite a few players getting eight. No one in the audience getting a full gamut of 10 points there, but still plenty of questions to go. Let's go to round number two. Round two is survivors. You will face up to 15 multiple choice questions. You have 10 seconds to respond to each A to D or one to four to the bot as before. Each incorrect player loses a life. In the event all players are correct, no one loses a life unless sudden death mode is active. That kicks in from question nine. And then once it is active, the slowest player loses a life if you all get it right, which means there's a maximum of 15. First player to exhaust three lives will be eliminated. In the event more than one player exhausts their lives simultaneously, the player who spent longest answering in total this round will be eliminated instead. So ultimately it will come down to speed. We've got eight questions to prove your worth before sudden death mode kicks in. Good luck to you all. Audience game is the same. Get it right, get a point, get it wrong, and you don't. Let's play. Good luck to the remaining three players. Here is a countdown for you. And let's play. In Casablanca, an establishment associated with which alcohol is referenced by the character Rick Blaine? Is it whiskey, gin, wine, or cider? A reminder that abstention is treated as wrong in the arena. Claire, the only one to get that one right. Of all the gin joints in all the world, she happened to walk into mine, I believe, is the line in question. Dogfish and Topper losing a life, and they're down to two. Disconnect on a film question. You hate to see it. Question two. What is the SI unit of frequency? Jeweled. What hurts Pascal? Topper in the fastest there, followed by Claire, followed by Dogfish. All players in the audience have answered. And all players in the arena are correct, all but one in the audience. It's C, the Hurts. Preserving your lives there, Claire, still with the advantage of three lives. Let's go on to question number three. Everybody hurts sometimes, it's true, Jack. Napa Valley wine region is found in which country? <laughs> the alcohol questions from Zeus. New Zealand, France, Australia, or the USA? All three locking in and right quick. Three correct, it is in the USA, Napa Valley. And alcohol questions, I know, Topper, I know. If we can start a petition, it's, it's, it's not gonna get action though. I love a good booze question. This one is it though, this is Matt's. Which of these sums is the largest? 60% of 80, 50% of 90, 70% of 70, 45% of 100. Oh, <laughs> Topper getting the right answer. Dogfish and Claire running out of time. It's C, 70% of 70. That's a lot to pause in 10 seconds. Uh, but yes, I think it was 46, 47, 48, and 49. Claire and Topper now with two. Dogfish is down to his last life here. Here's question five. Which of these tennis Grand Slam tournaments is the second to take place in the calendar year? 
Is it the US Open, the French Open, Wimbledon or the Australian Open? Dramatic sting because it is potentially the last question if Dogfish gets this one wrong. Which he has done. It's B, the French Open, the first of the Australian, third I believe is Wimbledon, US at the end. Dogfish, you're out of lives and you're out of the game. And after just five questions, round two is over. It really can be that brutal. And despite the uh, the, the the qualms at the beginning and coming in and uh, with the least number of points in round one, Topper finishes with the advantage and is going to be in control going into round three, finishing with two lives. Claire just with the one. Very well played to you both. You both through to the final and guaranteed two points. Halo, Jack, both on 13. Cycle Space Endures, both on 12. I'll spike my internet with a mallet later. <laughs> oh, bad luck, dogfish. <clears throat> Still, four more heats to go, and you're taking. You're not going away empty-handed. You are taking a point with you. So, Claire and Topper, let's go to the final. It's play or pass. Up to nine. Ten seconds to respond. A to deal. One to four. Controlling player is shown a category and chooses whether to play or pass. Simply type play or pass to the bot. Controlling player alternates with each question, starting with the leading player. That's you, Topper. Correct answers will earn you a point. Incorrect answers earn your opponent a point. First player to reach five points is the winner. Lobby game, exactly the same as before. Get it right, get a point, get it wrong, and you don't. Best of luck to Topper and Claire. Topper, you're in control. Let's play. And your first category, Topper, is language. Play or pass. Top choosing to play, taking the aggression at the beginning. Here's your question. Which of these is a Latin word for neck? Cervix, phalange, coste, pinna. Locking in. The wrong answer is A, cervix. Wouldn't have thought, but that's the answer. Top of going for D. Giving a point to Claire, who now takes control of the board. Or control of the octagon. The arena, I'll just say the octagon. Claire, the category is film. No delay there. Claire is going to play. Oh, cervical vertebrae. There we go. Uh, in the film Cars, what number can be found on the side of Lightning McQueen? 76, 111, 95, or 57? Claire's locking in. Wrong answer is C95, Claire going for A. Which also wrong answer, so both playing one question, both getting one wrong. It's one point each, and Toppy, you've got control. Category is nature, play or pass. And Toppy, you need to pass this one to Claire, maybe learning a lesson from last time. Claire, here's your question. The Narcissus genus of plants include which of these flowers? Tulip, daisy, rose, daffodil. And Claire out of time there. The answer was D, daffodil. Daffodil was the answer, giving a point to Topper. Just running out of time. Uh, Claire, you do have control though, and the next category is science. Play or pass. Have we lost Claire? Oh, no. There we go. Claire choosing to play this one. Trying to earn that point back. Keep it a deadlock. Chemical element Lutetium was named after which city? Madrid, Lisbon, Paris, London. Claire's in. And it's got the right answer. C, Paris. Nicely done. And the scores are once again tied up at two each. Neck and neck all the ways. We come to question number five. Top, you're in control. And the category is geography. Play or pass? Top is to play. And City of Light. That would make sense. The world's longest suspension bridge can be found in which country? Canada, Japan, UAE, or China? Top is in. <laughs> Non-controlling player attempted to answer. It's B, Japan. Top has got the right answer. Yes, Claire, unfortunately you can't answer when it's not your go. 
Uh, Topper is in the lead with 3-2, but Claire with a question in hand. You've got control. And the category is sport. I will pass. Choosing to pass over to Topper. Topper, another question for you. Have a look at this. How many people are there on a standard Quidditch team? Six, eight, seven, or nine. Topper's in. And he's got the right answer. It's seven, two beaters, three chasers, one keeper, and a seeker. Topper is 4-2 advantage. Game could all be over here. Topper, you have got control as well. The category's mythology. Play or pass. Choosing to pass it to Claire. Okay, Claire, you get this one wrong and you give the game to Topper. You get it right. And we go on. Who is the Roman god of doorways? Ceres, Janus, Vesta, Veritas. Ceres, Janus, Vesta, Veritas. Forgive my pronunciation there. Claire getting the right answer. B, Janus, one of those staple quiz pieces of knowledge. Veritas, I think, is truth. The other two I'm not sure about, but it is 4-3. Claire fighting back, and you have got control, Claire. The category is television. Play or pass. <laughs> yeah, you're right, too. And uh, Claire choosing to pass over to Topper. So for the game, Topper, in Scrubs, what is Dr. Kelso's first name? Doug, Charles, Bob, or Alan? Going for A, Doug. It's not the right answer. It's C, Bob. Bob Kelso. Doug is a character in Scrub, but it's not Dr. Kelso. And we are going all the way to question nine. It is four each. And Topper, you have got control. The category is history. For the match, play or pass. Topper's taking his fate in his own hands. Best of luck, Topper. Here's your question. Which of these is not the name of one of Shakespeare's children? Judith, Hamnet, Susanna, Maria. Popper locking in C, which is the wrong answer. It was D, Maria. And it was a close fought battle, but Topper, I'm afraid you've just lost it at the end and you've been eliminated. Yes, he had three children Hamnet, Susanna, and Judith. The three, yes, Hamnet, indeed. And Claire, after a very dramatic back and forth sort of game, you have emerged victorious. Curious, actually, about the three rounds, Claire came second in round one and second in round two, but has managed to sneak victory here in round three after a brutal game against Topper, but very, very well played, very closely fought, and getting through all nine of Zeus's round three questions. Claire wins five to four. With a bit of a comeback there, 4-2 four, two, four, two behind at one point, but managing to pull three questions, correct answers out in a row. Very well done, Claire. Maximum points to you. As for the audience game, Toot finishing on 19. BC, Hans Lander and Jers all picking up 18. We will add them to your scores. Let's go and have a look and see if I fix the thing. Uh, Safira and Matt, welcome to the stream. We are just about to end. We're going to go right into Bash in just a second because uh, he's got some outright going on tonight. Uh, so we'll head over there shortly. Let's take a look. Yes, I have updated it correctly. So at the moment, it'd be Jack, Toot, BC, and it's Sotley. But of course, Toot has decided to um, step aside for the tournament. He's just playing for the lulls. Um, so at the moment, there's a three-way going on between Asda, Jogginchum, and Setra, all on 47. But of course, the more heats you play, the more chance you have of getting points and... Um, might be the top four at the moment, but they may not be forever. If they miss a particular stream, then there's a chance to play catch up. That's how this works. Uh, you're still going to do well as well. That's the audience leaderboard. Let's go and take a look after the first sort of day, I suppose you could call it, of heat. That is the scoreboard. Colo and Claire currently fast-tracked into the final with four points each and nine and eight on the tiebreaker. Mark and Aaron also with four, though fewer questions in round one in total. Only Innis, Topper and Riff all have two points. 
Shapes, Dogfish, Samster and Proogs all on one and Anonaman, Derek, Quizface and Lupine yet to score but that is just 20% of the heats. Another 16 heats to come continuing next Thursday uh, right here twitch.tv forward slash royal underscore flush at 7pm. Even more action from the arena. Check the Discord if you're not there already do come and pop along because um, all of the things happening in there and you get lots of information. Uh, yeah, points in round one is the first column. That's the first tiebreaker metric. The next one is head-to-head, -head, so how you fared when you played uh, the uh, your previous... Uh, so let's say there was a tie between Mark and Aaron um, between both columns, then it would be when Mark and Aaron played each other who got further. That would make then that... Uh, the third tiebreaker metric and what we hope is the last one technically it could go on even further than that um, but uh, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it um, is Bash live yeah is he live is he live other channels do you follow live yes he is 22 people over there we're going to go raid Bash go and play some outright I'm going to go have dinner I will be back and lurking later on though I'll be largely working getting stuff ready for Saturday Saturday stream charity stream from 11 a.m probably going through to about 1 a.m on Sunday morning um it's going to be an amazing day raising money for an amazing cause cause um raid message is going to be uh justice for Hamnet yeah that'll do justice for Hamnet there we go justice for Hamnet as we go and raid over to Bash thank you all so very much for joining me it's lovely to hear, uh, have you with me this evening uh, thank you to Zeus for a double question pack I will add those um, pennies and author credits on I need to automate it in the game I'll add that to the to-do list um, I will see you on Saturday for the second one with almost absolutely everything charity stream starting at 11 do spread the word please do come and join me it's going to be an amazing day with some great quizzing some special guests and we're going to raise some money for a fantastic cause as well I'll see you over on bashes shortly congratulations to Claire you've won the arena until next time take care of yourselves peace out and good night